medical professionals here in the country performing yet another historic surgery on a twin that was born with a conjoined triplet that didn't form to its normal size and had to be surgically removed to prolong the infant's life. The baby's parents and several doctors who performed the surgery share the news with the public. Take a look. One out of 10,000 babies in the States normally would live and live for how long? and what quality of life is not determined. 12-day-old Jed Russell nestled in the arms of his mother is actually a twin. He looks quite normal, but prior to his birth, doctors closely monitored a growth of a triplet that was attached to his not fully formed skull. His sibling, however, was fine. While given the options by doctors to either keep or terminate her baby boy, 40-year-old and first-time mother Cecilia Sitt says she did what any mother would do, and that is to save the life of her child. So we don't know what's, if it's going to be a normal child. Brain cells being out of the brain with a hole in the back. Will the baby stand? Will the baby cry? Will he eat? Will he suck? Those are the questions that I had to go through. Um, because I had twins, my decision is definitely not to terminate. And we had hopes and we kept him. And up to two weeks before my delivery, because it was early, Dr. DePew says, Cecilia, we don't know what's going to happen. You know this, right? I say, yes, I know this. When he comes out, what will you do? Will we let him rest the peace? Or will we, I says, you know what? He's, if he's kicking and fighting, I'm going to kick and fight with him. With a lot of fear, lead surgeon Dr. Magnus Akidede said performing a surgery of this magnitude with several other experienced doctors was quite difficult. However, he says he is pleased with the outcome. When it's like... Uh, more than the head of the baby. You the, the other the other side or uh, encephalus is bigger than the head of the normal baby is called a giant encephalus uh, This one is about uh, one and a half bigger. And um, of course, what is inside the the swelling, or uh, what I call a false head, uh, would be brain tissue and uh, altered hemorrhagic liquid. And um, plus other structures, complex structures like arteries and, and veins and sinuses uh, that supply the normal baby. Cecilia says she plans to take baby Jed home once doctors give her the all clear. It affected other organs because now he would have to make sure get um, the heart um, checked up because he had holes in his heart and the ventricles are not um, growing straight from the encephalo cell. So for now, we'll just see. And like I said, he's a fighter. His name, he has two names. So Jed is beloved of the Lord. So he could be Christian if he wants to. And he have a Chinese name, which is Yi Ba, which means he's either going to be a professor or he's going to be someone who connects things together.